Father, we want to thank you for the gift of marriage. We thank you that this is the picture of your love for your people. We thank you that you have brought Gracie and Frank together out of the great sea of people in all space and time. You've helped them to find each other. And as you join them together today, we pray that you help them grasp how wide and how long, how high and how deep is the love of Christ for them. That they may love as you love, they may enjoy one another, they may grow in the grace of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Frank, today on our wedding day, I stand amazed at God's provision. He so lovingly brought you into my life and you became one of the greatest gifts he has given me. I must confess, I can't promise perfection. In fact, it isn't a surprise, but an expectation that I am bound to fall short. But the Lord has proven he can make beauty from ashes. I promise to put my hope in the Lord. I promise to experience the gospel with you through our marriage. I promise and covenant to be by your side as we experience the most difficult, painful, most rewarding and wondrous thing that marriage is. I promise before the Lord and all these people whom we love to be faithful, to practice a spirit-generated selflessness, to walk with you and to be with you through joy and sorrow, trial and victory, every mountain and valley, in sickness and health, as long as we both shall live. Gracie, when it comes to writing letters to you, I can usually write pages upon pages upon pages, but when it came to wedding vows, I was really stuck. The romantic in me uh, wants to compose love songs and write poems, but the realist in me doesn't want to make a promise that I can't guarantee. The only guarantee I can make is that I am in desperate need of Jesus, always, and that's the one thing that will never change about me. I promise to let him guide me and teach me so that I can love you better. I promise to try my best grounding us in prayer, hoping in the times of strife, challenging us to grow deeper and wider in his crazy love for us. I can't guarantee any of it, but I still want to try because I love you with all that I have, as meager as it is. When you speak, I'll listen. And when you're borderline nagging, I'll, I'll still try. <laughs> <laughs> And when you need someone to cry on, I'll be there. And when you need someone to taste test all the desserts and the sponge cakes that you'll make, I volunteer. The point is, there's a thousand things I can say, but I am super pumped to begin this exciting journey with you. I love you, and I love you. What you have here is a tremendous blessing. But it is only a blessing if it is not first. When the wedding is over, the rest of your marriage will continue to be a blessing if, if Christ remains to be first. He is the first love of both of you.